Hello, is it okay to start? Well, net broadcasting is what's ongoing, and uh, sometimes yeah, we have to make sure things will be smooth. This is the second session, and uh, Fuji Obeyar and Otaku, and we have Mr. Inami Masahiko. So, uh, Mr. Inami is a professor in KMT. I feel so great because, you know, the person who has found a presenter has to become a master of a ceremony. I thought that I have to do something, but the MC before did not do anything. So, therefore, I felt so good. I did not have to worry about how I perform a master of a ceremony. Frankly, honestly speaking, AR and Otaku, this is not what I love at this moment. I do not like them. I have so many jobs, but I am in charge management of many organizations, and uh, muscles are very important for human being. And I find muscle very, very important. A are artificial. What is it all about? And otaku has nothing to do with uh, muscle. And the people are in a way different in otaku environment. AR and otaku, I do not know what kind of uh, result it will be. I do not have to do anything as a master of a ceremony. I'd like listeners get uh, very excited. Well, what I found interesting is here. As you know, KMD, Minami, yeah, AR, Real Duty Media, that's the profession. So, uh, uh, Inami, AMD, KMD professor, is an expert. And also, we have Mr. Hiroaki Takeuchi. Well, he is an animation producer at the same time. He is an otaku person. Perfect. And when it comes to otaku business, I'd like to know what's ongoing. And I respect these two people when it comes to trying to know otaku environment. So I am very much interested in what kind of a talk session it will be by two people. So AR and otaku people will have very uh, good discussion. I hope whether or not there will be some common ground. Thank you. Well, Inami-san, well, the master of ceremony was talking a lot about you. Nice being with you, and I'd like to introduce myself. Thank you very much for the kind introduction. I am representing an otaku environment, Takeuchi. Well, I am a muscle. Otaku is a kind of a different environment person, but otaku requires pretty good muscle. I have to do that. Six times a week, I go to gymnasium, and I am 100% sports masculine otaku. So, this is kind of dark, sorry. Well, later on, I'll be talking more about what kind of organization companies I'm running. Basically speaking, well, Shueisha is a publisher where I'm working. And since a long time, I have been otaku person. Sorry, I have some greasy fingers. So, this slide is not popping up so easily at this moment. So now my PowerPoint got frozen. I have a backup PDF. Here it is. Well, this is my sports gymnasium schedule coming up on screen. Here it is. PDF. Yeah, you can rely on that. So I'd like to introduce what I have done so far. Do you know Young Jump? Uh, manga uh, magazine, and I was in charge of that. And then I thought eventually that my mission is to spread otaku around the world. When I was uh, on uh, Young Jump, I featured a costume play, cosplay, and I also featured F1 in the manga comics. And the former chairman, Furukawa, uh, participated in this event. We also invited Mr. Bill Gates in the meeting room of Shueisha, and uh, we held uh, his lecture. And those are the animation I produced uh, 15 years ago. Do you, you know a movie, Matrix? I created and produced animation version of Matrix around 15 years ago. And then I produced independent anime 
as well. This is about me independently produced animation. Uh, Hoshi no Koe, The Voices of a Distant Star, is another uh, creative I produced. And Tekkon Kinkrete, full CG version of animation I produced. And also in Hong Kong, China, uh, I've worked on the TV commercial for a major shoe manufacturers. And we won the TV commercial award. <laughs> And I also worked on the opening movie of TV games, uh, for example, Virtua Fighter from Sega Sami, uh, Dragon on Dragon from Square Enix. I worked on the movies on those gamings as well. Recently, I worked with uh, many distinguished people in the area of animation and pop culture. Uh, former go uh, governor of Mr. Ishihara, uh, I worked uh, with him uh, to nurture next generation of animators. We invented a small fund and invested into the upcoming uh, animators and helped them to make a debut outside of Japan. As a result, 14 animators are uh, supported and of which 50% are very active in uh, Hollywood. Some or have exclusive uh, business uh, with major uh, production company. Literal Charos uh, from NHK's TV program is also ha was also a student of this project. And uh, Mr. Murakami, uh, Takashi Murakami, uh, for the first time as an Asian, did the solo exhibition at Bels Versailles uh, Palace. And he wanted to show movie there. And uh, so we produced original animation and showed that at the Versailles Palace. And first, when we talked to the director of Versailles Palace, he said something like this. He was furious and he was upset at our proposal. And he was very much opposed to our proposal to show animation at Versailles. But finally, we were given approval. And we showed Six Hurge Princess uh, animation in Versailles Palace. I worked with Mr. Steve Jobs as well. I was invited to Apple in by, by him. and. Uh, he said that he asked, are you interested in iTunes digital comic? So and I worked with the up and coming uh, manga writers and I produced digital comics uh, for iTunes. This was an experimental work, so it's not commercialized by the way, and Ryuji Sakamoto, David Byrne, I worked with them as well. Uh, it was a collaboration work between animation and major musicians, and uh, I worked on the Zapuni project. When you hear the word animation, you may think of like a computer graphics uh, girls or idol girls. But at our company, Sky Tree Nishin Cup Noodle Museum, and Shanghai Expo, our Japan Industrial Booth, uh, main movies we produced so far, and Miku Hatsune, live broadcasting of performance of Hatsune Miku, production of Blu-ray of Hatsune Miku are other examples of my work. About two weeks ago, uh, E3, uh, world largest home appliances trade show was held, and Shem uh, was a legendary game. And I worked on the Kickstarter, and I received the Guinness record. Most played video game, generating one million dollars, and uh, so far. Uh, we received $4.5 million, and nine days are remaining. And uh, please take a look at this uh, picture of myself. You may think that I don't look like myself in this picture. 
there is a good reason. I uh, CG processed my picture from 12 years ago, and then I removed all the wrinkles and the dark spots and so on, and kind of recreated my own picture. So I don't exactly look like who I look in this picture. And I also uh, created a picture of myself in 12 years' time in 2027. So this is probably how I will be looking in the future. Thank you very much. So I would like to introduce myself as well. A Professor Inami and I met for the first time uh, today. Uh, we were sitting next to each other, but we tried not to have a chat because I thought that the first meeting or first encounter will uh, make a very interesting talk. So, But our act field of activities are quite close, I believe. But uh, let me introduce myself first. My name is Inami. The future of AR and otaku is today's theme, and from otaku world, I am a less experienced. But from media design point of view, Professor Sugi Uya, who's uh, playing cost uh, who, who, who are wearing a costume uh, today uh, downstairs. So uh, he is like a senior to me in terms of the otaku world. I am less experienced otaku. And I study AR. This kind of like a transparent optical graphic is something I'm studying. I don't really like AR that much. <laughs> this may ruin today's theme, but uh, AR is one of the media I have. I wanted to create a Superman, a humans integrated with computer can make Superman, probably. That's my assumption. So augmented reality and augmented humans uh, are something that I am very much interested in. As a part of that theme, this is something I created. Uh, again, uh, optical magic. Optical camouflage. Thermal camouflage was the source of inspiration I got from a ghost in the shell. When I was the postdoctorate student, ghost in the shell, this is something that I had to check. Assistant professor was a real true otaku, and he said that you need to read a ghost in the shell first in order uh, for you to have a proper discussion with me. So I read the ghost in the show. I know him. He is Mr. Nishikawa. I ate Shabu Shabu in US quite a lot. So I know this person who worked on ghost in the show. But anyhow, after I presented my study, I went uh, to the comic book called Golgo 13. And in the Golgo, there was an episode which was explaining about the mechanism of the optical camouflage. Uh, did you supervise? Did you supervise this episode of Golgo 13? Or did they just steal your advice? Well, I didn't supervise. Okay. And the Lata chart is very easy to understand and well explained, so I used this chart from Gogo 13. What's interesting is that animation and SF, yeah, from these materials, I have learned quite a lot, uh, not only of the camouflage materials, but in my work, yeah, this of the camouflage has been used quite a lot to make it very realistic. So I think it's interesting to have uh, expressions with optical camouflage. This is a part of great creation. This is what I'd like to touch upon. And nowadays, by the way, uh, to make it a uh, reality, with the Ishikawa-san, yeah, this real optic camouflage work I have been working together. Yes, we have been uh, exchanging information. I have seen that on Sunday, just like uh, you see on the right-hand side. This is what I have been uh, engaged in nowadays. And one more thing, 
Uh, I have started one thing recently, augmented human super person. I'd like to introduce this augmented human in this world. And augmented human sports association is what I have opened. Nakamura Ichi, my colleague, and Ishido, and Minami san three people, and I have started this association. Well, this is a uh, new sport we will be able to create with uh, augmented human and real human. This is simply a picture. It might be out of the blue, something so unthinkable. But uh, there are many researchers, they have been uh, developing what you have just seen. So 2020, that is the year of the Tokyo Olympics. So it's not going to be one part of the Tokyo Olympics, but yeah, technology and the human will be merged together to have some sports event. Regardless of uh, gender, age, with high technology advancement, you do not have to worry about some constraints. Yeah, robot and drones can be used in such events. And projection mapping AR technology can be included in future sports. And also with the technology, training itself uh, will be promoted all over the world. AR sports, this is a swimming in the swimming pool. And also uh, you can feel you are actually in the goal area. So uh, this is a peak of the puzzle. And new sports is what I've been working on. And this is a very first trial introduced from Japan. Yes, modern days, five types of sports events. You know, horseback riding, fencing, and shooting, and field track, and swimming. So if you introduce five modern age sports, this is what I have been discussing very seriously. And also in today's presentation, well, pop culture and technology, this is a great affinity between these two areas. Well, I myself, I feel very good affinity. Akihabara is a town. Ever since I was a high school student, I went to Akihabara once a week. Well, so you are a pure, genuine otaku. Yes, yeah, Akihabara-based otaku. Yeah, Akihabara otaku was not a word I used to hear when I was a student. When I was a child, it was simply a small marketplace in Akihabara. But yeah, redevelopment is ongoing in Akihabara. It's completely different. Yeah, skateboarding was ongoing in Akihabara area those days. So from this point of view, yes, uh, I think Professor Kishi is very knowledgeable about pop and technology. Instead of relying upon human being, the way you conduct your job, you do not have to rely on your human body at all. Since it is a digital world, just like IoT, instead of relying upon simply machine, we have to yeah, bring the result of pop and the technology back to your real world. So this is my self-introduction. So, well, this theme, the feeling is mutual. Why am I so otaku and gymnastic fan? Well, manga was what I have been working upon. Yeah, we were listening to low birth rate before, but otaku means that uh, you live in the 2D environment, that it's not the only one. So uh, visionally, vi vision is what otaku people have, visionary. So therefore, I think with otaku and with their visions, we will be able to change our society quite a lot. Well, there are some images I have worked upon nowadays. So, there are some uh, artwork I'd like to show you. Kokaku Kidota is one work I have done. Well, 
past 10 years, I have produced this art. This is a collaboration work. Is it visible? Visible? Yeah? So, animation. You may think that you draw something on paper, but computer graphics was so new when I started my profession. And interactive means that you can play a interactive game. So a producer and a director will be conveying his feeling. But with internet posting was getting possible and available. And nowadays animation is yeah, full K. This is a high quality presentation and also very light. This is what you can post with our uh, demonstration. And also, in order to create this one, well, 10 million yen computer is necessary. I have to have 10 computers to have one rendering in one hour. Finally, I can produce one piece of uh, expression. So at that time, Japanese, there are so many directors got together, and there are many representative directors who have introduced their final work. And by physical and computer, drawings were mixed together. So this is from independent animation work, Macintosh and software. These were simulation work at home only by one person, you can create such final work. And also, what's difficult at this moment is that animation and manga creators are thinking about the future, and they'd like to change the future. They have their own visions. Therefore, manga and animation, they expressed their word. And later on, uh, you can make reality as a reality in the future. So thank you very much. Well, AR is your profession, augmented reality. Augmented reality, right? This is your expertise. And also, kakuchou is the word AR. In otaku world, there is AR. This is what you are talking about, about kokaku kidotai and my metrics. Well, in otaku contents, well, at this moment, from technical point of view and industrial point of view, there are ideas available and workable well, they are not protected by uh, copyright protection, so therefore these arts are going everywhere nowadays. Well, otaku has a desire. How can you respond to their desire, otaku? Well, there were some Japanese words that have changed in phonetics, otaku and wotaku. But no difference. Wo means that the two channel people wanted to use this uh, pronunciation, wo. This is the very last word in Japanese alphabet. This is means otaku is an ultimate desire. I am otaku person. I'm not, you know, looking down upon me, myself. Universal, the geek people, otaku. Don't worry. We want to make a new world for otaku and a geek. This is what people are talking, explaining about otaku. So this is being broadcast to all over the world. I'd like to ask a question, AR means an otaku world. So AR is in otaku world. Kokaku kidotai was what you have created first. Well, this is just like a Chinese herbal medicine. Working well. Well, in interviews, when I responded to interviewers, I have to explain very uh, understandably. Ghost is in the shell. Well, this is a prerequisite. Not only this uh, ghost in the shell, there are many. Yeah, Koka Kidota is one thing. Yeah, I read it, and I got so involved with it. And I found it very interesting, but I never thought that I can realize this idea into the reality. And I had a different theme back then. And at one point, I thought that if we could use the 3D technology, uh, we can make this idea from a ghost in the show into the reality. So once I consumed the idea, I tried to make it realized, materialized. When you were young, uh, what kind of child were you in the elementary school days? Were you influenced by something? 
I love the Draymond animation, Draymond's inventions, inventive ideas, I guess you had from your childhood. I was like Nobita from Draymond comic. Yeah, you look like Nobita. I really wanted to be a Nobita. I want because I wanted to wear glasses. So I intentionally read the books in the dark room. Try to damage my eyesight. Whoa, you are too otaku. You're doing stupid things. But what I did was not right. You know, you you, you could have worn fake glasses instead. Yeah, but I didn't think about it. I am 55 years old now and my generation loved Ultraman. So we grew up with Ultra Q, Ultra Man, and uh, we had Osaka Expo, and the future world depicted in the manga comic books were presented in reality in uh, Osaka Expo. It's is, is, is like a boy in the Tomorrowland movie. So I thought that at some point of time, we can have a world like tomorrow. Land. So I was reading manga and playing game, and I uh, really wanted to make our dreams into reality, and the same applies to my generation. So yes, there were Osaka Expo and the Tsukuba Expo. I went to Tsukuba Expo. So yeah, we had Tsukuba Expo. We had Okinawa Marine Expo as well. And then we also had the Flower Expo. We had so many expos as we grew up, and Japanese companies were presenting cutting-edge technology in a very easy-to-understand way. Human automated washing machine were, was presented at one point. So you actually go into the capsule, and then your body underneath your neck will be automatically washed. And uh, everyone was uh, thinking, who is going to wash your hair then? But it, because I, I had to keep my head outside of the box. So I, but uh, mobile phones, linear motor cars, and 3D technology were all made into reality. Japanese companies were presenting their ideas in those expos, and I was exposed to those ideas, and I touched it. AR is all about uh, materializing the ideas, uh, bringing the ideas into the reality. Yes. So 3D image uh, overlapping a real image or 3D printer is another good example. Yes. So SF animation, they depicted future in the past. And those futures are now becoming reality. That's Ultra 7. Down, you know, was talking to his uh, wristwatch. And now that became reality, you know? And the current elementary school students take those technology uh, for granted, but when I was little, that was like, that was dreamlike device. And uh, Terminator will come out soon this week uh, by Arnold Schwarzenegger. These kind of robots are also depicted in the animation in the past, but now robots are a reality. To your left, you see HAL 9000 uh, depicted. Uh, this is AI, and uh, this is again advanced version of AI depicted in Matrix, and this is from several years ago. Uh, chess. Uh, AI threatening uh, human. So those are almost becoming reality. Recently, this teleporter uh, is now becoming into reality. I was a fan of Star Trek, and I really wanted to have a teleporter. When I was a little, I thought that if there was a teleporter, we don't need to be worried about the uh, CO2 emission. We don't even need to drive a car. And teleporter is is there to be materialized or uh, sending a copy of an objective in a remote manner. 
uh, otaku people are now into the 3D printer business domain. Uh, through the internet, A and B can be copied, and uh, those copy can be uh, transported uh, virtually, and it can be used from a defense point of view. So. Uh, weapons do not need to be physically transported. So uh, what you need is 3D printer, and you just need to send the designs in the, uh, of the uh, weapons and then uh, print that out with the 3D printer in remote area, and you just need to ship out the parts. And uh, I am a member of the Linear Motor Car Study Committee in Nagano uh, Prefecture. And then elderly people, I asked elderly people, do you think we can transport a house through, uh, via Linear Motor Car? And they say no. But in reality, in China, they produce house with a 3D printer. As long as you have a architecture a data, and if you have a 3D printer, you can print just apt on the spot. It's almost the same function as teleporter. Yes, human transportation is something. So human version of uh, teleporter is my theme, you know. That's called the tele-existence. The technology of virtual reality and this technology are quite similar. The, your robot, uh, you put your robot in remote area, distant area, and then use the surrogate. Uh, it called that surrogate. And this, your robot, it's a tactical information, visual information can be transferred to that person. And then it, as you get that the visual tactic um, information data you will you can have a virtual reality experience yes it's it's uh, and this idea itself was invented in 1990s it's a world of matrix and uh, through the electric uh, tactic uh, device and the globe are used and I experienced that, that technology by myself. It was quite fun. So, so let's say uh, there is my robot, and as a robot move around and looks at this direction, uh, you will see a back of uh, someone who looked quite familiar, and that was actually me. It was a very interesting experience, but uh, it's quite difficult to describe the, the experience that I had with my own words. But technology-wise, that is gaining a lot of attention. Reason is because of the widespread of widespread internet. You know, uh, data transferring itself was quite expensive when we didn't really have an internet. But now we have internet. So with the internet, we can always uh, transport and transfer data immediately, quickly, and, and then we can make the cost lower as well. The past study uh, required human uh, remote robot, but now we can put the camera on the drone. And then uh, if we put the uh, sensor uh, on the drone, and then uh, you could probably have a sense of force or like a tachycopter from uh, Draymond manga. E3, my crowd funding. Uh, featured on the Morpheus to be mounted on Sony's game. And as long as you have this device, you can have a, a visual data. And there is another system called Oculus, and I experienced myself. I was so surprised. It was great. You know, a swing. One 100 meter swing is what I have tried. And there's a Monica right in front of me. However, yeah, I have to sit on a movable mobile chair and in about 30 seconds I got so seasick or swing sick. Well, otaku, well, together with a girl, 
you can have a tutoring experience. There is a character right next to me, and it is visible. And this is something very exciting, right? You get excited. Yes. And uh, there's one thing I'd like to talk about. Uh, Mr. Kishi's misunderstanding can be solved by my message. Well, all Otaku seem to be isolating themselves, right? But otaku, materialized robots and uh, game world, they'd like to go into the game world. They'd like to become a, a player, the major player. Open world is what I was talking about. A Sega game is what I was talking about. You can have a different person. You can have a different world. And in China, you can take revenge on whoever enemy you have experienced. However, you cannot do it by yourself. Therefore, animation and the game and uh, all mangas are not selling very well. But live performance is getting very, showing pretty good boom. Well, live performers are right in front of you. Okaku uh, idol animations are available. I used to have SNM, but three years ago I started making idol animations. Well, otaku mentality is now working, working for Naruya. Three years ago, together with Apex, well, we have done uh, audition and say you idols and dancers were what we wanted to interview. These are seven amateur performers, Apex and the Seiyu Association accommodated six of them, and we have done a six-month full training, and we have made animation out of these six, yeah, wake-up girls. This is the project I have completed, and these are girls, they are so many stories showing how they go through their life stages and how they have grown up. Uh, well, there were major TV stations and animation companies and uh, directors got together in such a creative work, but there is a big change nowadays. You can participate in such creative work as a producer, maybe as a director, or maybe you can be one player or an uh, actor or actress. Hatsune Miku is one good example. Everybody has created that Hatsune Miku performance, consumer-generated media. Consumers are creating media contents. This is something, a big beam and big boom. So in idle world, we can do something. Animation, uh, we have supported, and also we wanted to support yeah, disaster-stricken area. 300-year-old confectionery is here, and we were awarded as a recognized cinema. From many world, uh, otaku people visited this city, and they have created maps, and they have created lots of billboards, and this is the stage of that animation. And mm, last year, year end, exactly the same stage was created in Makahari Mese, and that was a concert, and over 10,000 people enjoyed this performance. Left side top is animation. This is the very last stage, and this is an actual performance stage. Yeah, the scene you have seen, the animation is right in front of you. And the animation you have seen is right in front of you. So this is, yes, augmented reality in manga and animation. You had seen, read some experience, and now you can experience it by yourself. Together with the Rakuten, Wake Up Girls. Yeah, we wanted to support and cheer baseball players. And December is uh, the time we will be introducing this Wake Up Girls performance. So I was advertising Wake Up Girls today. Yes, it is something very, very intriguing, interesting. Well, reality is one thing, and animation was something virtual world an abstracted world, but you made these two in good fusion. Yeah, we call it hyperlink. So otaku people, when they go to a concert, you know, these girls can shake hands with you in actuality, but in the animation world, they are shaking hands with you. And these participants are not uh, otaku at all, but wagunam. This is a person who created this art, and they participated in this experience. And the participants, people, 
can be a part of this environment. Yes, you get involved with the uh, animation environment and uh, reality environment. Yes, animation will go to sacred places. Yes, Kogaku Kidotai, Ghost in the Shell, has applied this uh, experience as well. Experience in animation, Ghost in the Shell, and reality can get together. Well, let's say people in the United States, they see animation in Japan, and they see Japanese custom, Japanese scenery through animation. And you can experience with games. And also, not only that, yeah, you do not have to go to Japan so that you can touch. Sense of touching will become a reality. Well, they get linked together. What's interesting is that you will raise sense of values. And not only that, these are two parallel world. And their speciality and not speciality areas are something you have to think about. Well, directors are paying a lot of attention to that. Well, director himself, he was a fan of uh, one idol person. And directors are good in some area and not so great in certain areas. Well, as a drama, you have to have a great history or a great story to begin with. And you have to have a very well-balanced presentation. You'd like to create this word in animation world, but in actuality, you'd like to make it more exciting. Then you can conduct uh, live events. But it is not a perfect synchronization with animation world and the reality performance. But I'd like mm, participants enjoy it. In actual live concert, there was an uh, animation shown in front of them, and you can not have voice actor, tons of voice actors. Well, at Mag Akihabara, you can come up with the credits, but some, yes, participants got so excited. And also, uh, voice actors made quite a lot of contribution to make this uh, live very exciting. So, uh, it is a perfect synchronization. You know, I have done a lot of casting from a scratch and uh, voice actors and actresses, and I have to make sure what kind of characteristics and tendency voice actors have. Well, what was the most effective way to be merged together? Well, performers, daily life, idols and robots. Well, a number, certain number of creators have created such robots and so on, but I am a professional, we are professionals, then we have to make sure how yeah, viewers and the participants will enjoy. So you needed to provide pretty good service to make people, audience, happy. But nowadays, audience is not expecting fun part at all. Well, all the time, idols are residing in heaven or on top of the cloud. But after AKB 48 was in front of us, these idols are so close to you. So oh, you can have a party by shaking hands with these idols. It has become a reality. Oh, for AKB 48 girls are so close to us, just uh, like one of us. This is what you appreciate nowadays quite a lot. So oh, idols are now coming so closer to you, ordinary people. A cloud is one thing, cloud funding. Let's say with the shell, yeah, I met a producer, and he did not expect that much great result. But right after that cloud funding, so many overseas participants are in that environment. Well, save. Shen was uh, what we have completed. Well, sequel was not produced for some time, but we have invested in that performance, so they are expecting quite a lot of good result. Well, you get merged, connected, interconnected with each other. Sometimes people can immerse themselves in the uh, story that's unfolding in the screen, and that can make one business case. But uh, what do you think of the sense of fiction? 
I think we are losing the aspect of fiction over time. About 10 or something years ago, when I was working on Animatrix, what's been most talked about was this. A Japanese video game were actually threatening uh, film producers. Video games are interactive. Users can make choices by themselves. Players can make choices by themselves, meaning that they can change the drama story they're playing with. So ultimately, let's say there is this movie script, and there are several types of ending prepared and discussed, pre-discussed by director and producer. But actually, at the end of the day, viewer can, uh, can, can make a, a choice of the ending of a movie. It's like a food course food, you know, you can uh, probably uh, change the order of the food service. Chef will make some recommendation which order we should eat. However, uh, the eater may have some uh, specific preference over order. So I guess there will be polarized scenario. Certain a creator may be extremely good in script writing. So that case, uh, the script is only one fold. But other less good uh, creative or movies may have to offer several endings, for example, for user viewer to choose. People may rely on the internet world to navigate their action and behavior like in Poland. Uh, for example, to encourage internet voting system, a recent interesting case is omnipresent service. You wear the camera here and then uh, follow the order given by someone who's sitting in remote area. So this person may ask, like, can you go and take a look at my parents, or can you go and get this confectionery, or take a picture at a certain point? So it's like operating characters in the virtual reality. You basically operate another person. Uh, in that point, we have a Nikocho Kaigi, Nikocho meeting, and Niko Niko users who use internet gather information and they want to have a physical experience. An LDP is setting up the booth and Niko Niko Chokaigi event. I think last week there was a LDP's car, and then you can make a, like a political speech as if a politician running for a an election. And then I think uh, Prime Minister Abe uh, came by to see how people are uh, um, having that virtual experience. So there are many information you can gather online, and there are many opportunities where you can have actual experience of that data. In order to increase the birth rate of otaku, I think we need to combine internet to the 3D world and then create a online matching party. In the Nikocho Kaigi, there was a shrine. And then in, on this shrine, you can actually have a wedding ceremony. So users themselves will create a content, and either themselves become a leading role in that content that they create. There is a commonality amongst these four people. All of them are geek or nerd. Movie, manga, animation, technology, in those respective fields, they are otaku. 
The definition of otaku is very uh, vague in the dictionary. Otaku can be defined as someone who has a great passion on certain topic. And otaku is, a, again, a visionarist, and they actually lead the society. And I would like to propose a theory of otaku innovation golden circle. Do you know Peter Draka? Peter Draka presented two ways of creating enterprise functions, one through marketing, the other through innovation. Marketing is that it is the research done by a company and they get the insight of the market. For example, if it's NTT, they will look into the market, the needs or wants for the internet or, or telecommunication service. Same applies to home appliances maker, automakers. They are very good at marketing. But recently, those Japanese products are threatened by US IT companies because they produce products based on innovation. What this means is that otaku present their own visions. Uh, like good example is Steve Jobs. You know, Steve Jobs come up with uh, the innovation as to what kind of telephone he wants to use. But uh, Steve Jobs says that uh, buttons do not look cool and a telephone needs to be exciting. So that's his innovation becoming a reality. The new value generated uh, nowadays, I guess, are coming really from the brain of otaku. Uh, golden uh, circle can be totally applied to otaku world. Uh, Mr. Simon Sinek presented the theory of golden circle in efforts to explain about it in within 30 seconds. Uh, this is how I would describe. In the middle, we have why. And around it, uh, we have why and what. There are, let's say, two sales reps. And I would say uh, I am the president of a auto company, a very fast, a high fuel efficiency car I invented. And I tried to minimize the cost and introduce into the market. That's the approach starting with what and going into the core. And let's say I have, I am a different CEO of an auto company, and I would say, everyone, uh, today I would like to present the next generation auto that you've never seen before. This is something that I've always wanted in my entire life. It doesn't require gas, electricity. So what drives this? auto car. That's something I would like to explain about. By introducing this car into the market, we can resolve almost all the energy issues around the world. Uh, this is the next generation hydrogen car. Actually, Toyota introduced a hydrogen car in the market. So that approach was based on the idea as to how we want to make changes. So that's golden circle, thoroughly. We should not disregard otaku. There, we need to think how industry, schools, companies uh, can make best out of the otaku's inspiration. Otaku do things that they like. Otaku. Uh, make Akihabara a holy uh, place because they know that if they go, they can make their uh, ideas, visions come true. And in order to make their visions come true, they need to gather information uh, as much as often as possible. And if uh, you are, you cannot make that happen by yourself, but you work with your colleagues, you work uh, investment by someone else. That's how they can change the world. So that's what I called Otaku Golden Circle, and I, I really expect that KMD will take a leadership in implementing this Otaku Golden Circle. Thank you. That's wonderful. Uh, the feeling is mutual. I agree with you. And Otaku driven is fine because you know Otaku find it fun. You know it's a diversity. Yes makes fun, it's fun. It will draw a lot of people to you. Well, golden circle theory I was talking about uh, before. Yeah, 
Light Brothers have invented an airplane, and there was a team supporting. Uh, there was a very famous professional uh, professor from the university, and they, he, the professor, wanted to invest on Light Brothers, and they have to bet their life with their fame and a fortune and so on. So he wanted Light Brothers to be able to fly for the very first person. Well, well, these brothers did not have money. They have graduated from high school only, but they simply wanted to start flying by themselves. Well, the more people they tried to fly, more failures they have ended up in. Well, dream and visions were in their brothers. So Otaku, yeah, crowdfunding will receive quite a lot of fund. Well, people, viewers, would like to materialize what they desire. And there are so many people who are making this desire reality. Yes, exactly. KMD. Yeah, we are working on innovation. This is we are trying to pursue. And also, we need to issue to be solved. Well, minus part should be solved. Not only solving issues we are facing, you need to have more diversity. Well, there are so many things people would like to solve, but you need to make negative to positive, minus to plus. So you need to make sure what you'd like to achieve. This is the very beginning. This is the starting point. Well, instead of uh, spreading our desire, otaku's desire, become a mass expansion. Well, it is connected with Silicon Valley. Yeah, I think their inventors are coming so close to what we are discussing. You need to have very good uh, resource of people, and crowdfunding will draw quite a lot of fund, and the service and products are desired by so many people all over the world. They can have information available through Amazon. You can have such invention. Then you need to have a very drastic, great vision came the I expect quite a lot from you well human resource and service and uh, delivery this is what you can uh, come up with I graduated from K University I expect a lot from you yes we'd like to make an another effort thank you the time is up well well at the very beginning, I wonder whether or not you will be having a very good discussion. And how many? Well, Inami-san, you are otaku. Yeah, I think two people are otaku. Therefore, you were talking in great in harmony. But it was wonderful to have two presenters because you have covered quite a lot of important issues. Otaku, I do not appreciate otaku, but from different perspective viewpoint, otaku is making Japanese economy. Alive, Toyota. Yeah, they have produced quite a lot of automobiles, but uh, automobile technology came from the United States. But uh, Toyota is overwhelming in all over the world. Why? Because uh, American technology was observed by Toyota engineers, and they were otaku. And high performance, light, and compact automobiles has become a reality. Sony's Walkman at the very beginning was the same way. Well, the very first invention in the world has been created by otaku. Well, animation and manga, same applies to them. Cool Japan, fashion, well, and also diet habit. Otaku has pursued what they wanted to achieve, and they were appreciated by the world. Well, Japanese economy will be stimulated by otaku and young ki. And the service industry, young ki has given quite a lot of energy, and they will become very yeah. successful. Young ki has been covering quite a lot of restaurant industry, and some uh, industry and non-otaku people may cause some decline in businesses. I I think that otaku people are very important when it comes to making innovation reality. This is what I feel. So these two presenters has given us quite a lot of inspiration and wonderful. Well, at the very beginning, that was what I thought. But as a conclusion, I still do not appreciate uh, otaku. Well, transmission of object, I don't know. Uh, I have uh, one person, Chinese. Kiko is one exercise, right? This friend uh, has a super sensory perception. And this Chinese friend 
can transfer object by his power. Well, he is a superman. Well, Kishi-san, nowadays you are making a, a raw hand by yourself. You are your otaku and metal hard rock otaku. I was in dream theater, dream theater in Rome. Well, one word at the very end. Well, we are watching 360. Yes, uh, old Japanese sports will be presented at the very end of this year. Please uh, look forward to this event, uh, 31st of December. Oh, these two otaku people have made a very exciting session. Give them a very big applause, please. Thank you. Nine more days to go. So this is the theater. Live performance will be coming soon. So 4.5 million people will be reaching us. Thank you. Thank you.